Hey traders, Ivan here, Mike Sass commentator at Gold Prime Brokerage Firm. So as you know, BTC has been for the most part underperforming the rest of the altcoin market in the crypto space. Now one market that embodies like no other this uh, exuberant sentiment towards the alts is Ethereum. Not just Ethereum, but its uh, brother Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic against Bitcoin has gone absolutely parabolic in this video i am going to be breaking down how through the strategy that we are cohesively trading in the mental room in my mental room you could have actually broken down this deal and find a 12 to 1 risk reward trade through the 12 hour time frame here what i am portraying is the stop loss that would have been utilized and the current take profit that has been achieved as a maximum potential reward so let's now break down this trade bit by bit through the different uh, pieces that we always put together now when it comes to my strategy the one that gets most heavily promoted and traded through my mental room and the one that we have we have actually decided that we're going to be just solely focusing on is the uh you know the main pillars here are going to be structure momentum support and resistance price action volume and volatility so let's look at each of these six factors to understand how pristine was this trade ethereum against the btc number one when it comes to structures we have an indicator that goes by the name of ft it's going to be looking at the fractal structures of the market and here we can tell that we were making higher highs higher lows and that is very well expressed through the coloring of this indicator so that's one out of the way structure now momentum momentum is going to be very important because at the end of the day it is the energy of price and how that price is moving along so the energy is going to be uh, reflected through the second indicator at the bottom the SMT and as you guys can tell here the SMT was also in a you know sh showing us agreement giving us that concordance between that structure and th in the 720 and the one daily so here the momentum both in the 12 hour and the daily was also on point so two out of two let's Next up, we want to be moving into the third component and that is going to be support and resistance. As you can notice in the Ethereum Classic against Bitcoin, we had a very well-defined area of resistance. The price on a 12-hour basis could not close beyond for one time sequence. A second retest failed as well. A third retest failed. And eventually, we found that acceptance, that auction process was lifted up. And finally, there was an agreement between buyers and sellers to get that equilibrium beyond that point and that is what's going to constitute many times uh, in what we typically uh, on what's typically known as a flip SR so what used to be resistance would be acting on the way back down on the backside retest as a support so that's the third element that support and resistance being clear now the fourth element that we are going to be looking into is volume volume here notice that we had an uptick right there in that candle and essentially that implies that there was higher than usual volume and our transactions so that activity was picking up therefore more commitment of buyers involved in this movement remember that this is happening as we said through a market context where the structure is in our favor the momentum has also been checked to be in our favor volume has now just been discussed that was uh, favorable we actually left behind the support and resistance now let's look at volatility because the market and let me just now remove these paintings the market is going to be in volatility terms very cyclical as you guys can tell here through the bbw or bollinger band width we see expansions in volatility this is essentially just going to be the separation between the upper and the lower bollinger band so whenever we have a spike in this 
orange line that obviously translates in the Bollinger Band expanding as well. Let me show you what I mean. So here notice that the market was falling down, increasing volatility and that gets to be translated through a spike in that BBW. So as you can tell the BBW goes through all these waves of volatility higher lower higher lower higher and at the point that we are discussing in this video notice that the volatility expansion in ethereum classic had yet to come the line was very depressed and this is a period of maximum opportunity in the price action why am i saying that because it is at these levels that volatility sooner or later based on historical data that we get to accumulate sooner or later that volatility is going to be picking up and knowing that we have structure momentum support and resistance volume everything in our favor what side do you reckon is going to be reaping the most benefits and rewards once that volatility returns to the market especially in an alt season in an alt uh, hype season well you know if you thought about the upside you guessed that right so this would have been the outcome of this trade by taking what it is considered in our strategy to be a breakout trade now we also have a very well defined very well defined rules and criteria to def uh, to really uh, figure out where that stop loss is going to be where our tech profit minimal tech profit should be uh, I'm not saying that uh, we are holding this trade towards that 12 to 1 because obviously along the way you could really be taking profits off the table but knowing that there was very little resistance left after that high was taken out you could really really anticipate that this trade would go for a massive runner so there you have it we have touched on every single of the six elements that i highlighted at the beginning of this video we got structure momentum support and resistance volume volatility and price action itself by uh, appreciating getting that markup in price and equilibrium above the sr all that indicated that ethereum against the btc was an excellent trade to be had and something that you could have capitalized if trading the strategy that i promote and i teach members of the course in my mentor room until the next video is bye for me cheers